All right, what's up guys? So as I said last time, my name is Brent Aiken and I've been helping UMY lead with making some um, design blog posts about Canva. And today we're going to be continuing that series and we're gonna be looking at making a few different church publications um, for Canva and for your church. Um, and we're just gonna dive right into this. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. So we're on our Canva homepage right here. Um, and like I said, in the last video, I kind of already went through all this. Um, it just has tons of different options for you to use. But um, <clears throat> today we're going to specifically be looking at four different things that we can make um, for our church or um, for the organizations or ministries that we're a part of. And so first thing we're going to look at is a bulletin. And so bulletin is one <clears throat> that you do have to get a little creative on because to my knowledge, they don't have a bulletin option. But um, basically what I do is in order to make a bulletin, I'm just gonna go up and it depends on what you print, what size, if you use 11 by 17, if you use eight and a half by 11, um, if you use A4 or whatever, you have to know your dimensions of what you're printing. Our, <clears throat> our bulletins for our church are just 8.5 by 11. So I'm going to go in and do create a design, custom dimensions, and then I'm going to change it to inches. And then we're going to go width of 11 because we want it um, horizontal, not vertical. And then we're going to do 8.5 for the height. And so just going to create a new design and this is going to pull up our designer and there is the guts of your bulletin. Um, so you can go through and like I said, you still have all these templates. They don't really match up with what you're wanting to do, but you could still <clears throat> um, look through here and maybe steal fonts or steal ideas. But we're just going to go ahead and make a bulletin from scratch. Um, and sometimes making stuff from scratch takes a little bit more of a creative side um, and sometimes I like to just go look and maybe do like a Google search for church bulletins. Um, and then you can get on here and I'm not saying steal a design identically, but you can come in here and you can kind of get some ideas, um, just for the sake of like, oh, you know, maybe I want, um, I know I want the service order on our bulletin. Um, I know we want like um, announcements, we want like contact stuff for our staff, etc. And so you can kind of just look through here and be like, um, you know, there was one up at the top I really liked. That one kind of looked cool. And so um, looking at this one, uh, it was a pretty easy idea. Um, and theirs is actually um, perforated in a few spots, which I'm not going to do. Um, and I don't really like the idea of having the communication cards um, on the bulletin, because unless you make it perforated, you have to throw the whole bulletin in there, and then they lose with the upcoming events and all that fun stuff. So um, we are going to just kind of take a little bit of this idea, and we're going to go with it and go from there. And so not necessarily stealing the style at all, at all, but we're going to come back in and we're going to take some square uh, square designs and Tell you what, let's just go square. So we're going to take square designs and we're just going to make a generalized box. Now, one of the important things with this is you do have to know the dimensions. So if you come over here, you can come in and show rulers. Um, up at the top so you can actually see and make sure that you're hitting that halfway mark because if you bleed over into your uh, fold, you're going to be in trouble. Um, but so obviously with a 11 inch paper, we are going to go five and a half 
that would be the middle, but we're going to want to leave some uh, fold space. Um, and so you can come in like a quarter of an inch. Same thing with this side. You're probably going to want to go a quarter of an inch on this side too. And then um, you just have your opportunity to do um, this. And we're going to just, for the sake of it, we're going to kind of keep that style. I like that. Um, we're going to duplicate this. We're going to run it to the other side so it looks the same. Make sure it's on the right dimensions again. And so we have the generalized inside frame of our bulletin set. Then we're going to come in and we're going to add some font. Obviously, one of the first things you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do something to the nature of welcome. Um, something like that. And so then it just depends on your church's style, your church's um, flavor, I guess, um, as far as that goes. And so you're going to just kind of match up with whatever you want it to do. Um, and you're just going to kind of add your own flair. Um, in order to do different boxes, you can come in, you can kind of space it out yourself. Another way that you can kind of be creative is if you wanted to take this again and you wanted to throw this and you wanted to throw this in again and say um, you wanted to bring it up so you can see both sides. You can crop the image. to where it's just this section. And then you can shrink this section to make like a smaller box. And so you can do this, you can duplicate it again and you can flip it vertically and you have a box. And so, I mean, it's like I said, um, the, the thing about Canva that might take a little more effort um, on um, social media than, or making stuff than other uh, things is you do have to potentially um, kind of think out of the box a little bit more um, in order to get designs to kind of look good and kind of go with the flow of what you're wanting to do. So now we can go in and add some subheadings and maybe we want to do guest speaker. And um, so we can just kind of bold that. Um, you know what, let's that's a good size, so we can just come in and duplicate that size and come in and change this font. Um, I'm a sucker for Open Sans, like that's my favorite font. Um, just for the sake it looks clean. Um, and it's really, really easy to get a lot of different looks um, with this font. But yeah, so you have your guest speaker. Um, tell you what, I'm gonna drop this down just a little bit. And so you can do that, you can italicize it just to kind of make it look a little bit different. But then you can also come in um, if you wanted to, you can add different effects to it. There's there's tons of different things you can do just to kind of make it look unique, different than everything else you have going on your page. Um, I'm gonna make that a tad bit smaller. I'm gonna drag that in. Um, when you're working on Canva and you like use the drag select, you need to make sure that if you're using a background, like this is technically used as a background, the whole um, box design that we started with, 
um, you need to make sure that if you do that, it's going to select that too. So you need to make sure that you unselect the box under whatever you're moving. Um, you can also with Canva do um, grouping. So like say, I don't want this to move ever again. Now I can just drag this whole thing, um, which is super helpful when it comes to doing different stuff. Um, but so you can do guest um, speaker, and then say you want a section for notes. Um, I don't think they have like a notepad that like you can just drag in. Um, so you do have to make your own, but once again, it's super, super easy. Um, just go in, take the square tool, And however big you want to do your notes, I'm going to do about that big. Um, and so uh, if you want this to stand out like everything else is, there's a couple different ways you could do that. Um, a, you could come back here and you could steal um, these boxes. You just need to make sure it matches up with the outlining um, section of your notes. And once again, you just duplicate up here, you flip it vertical, drag it down here. Then you can, a lot of what I do is just, I make it once and then I go back and duplicate it. And then I don't have to recreate the wheel because I've already found a size and space um, our size and uh, font style and everything that I like. Um, and so there you go. Um, and so I did leave some room at the bottom intentionally because now we can come in and we can do body text, which is a little bit smaller. Just a reminder, you can set up all these sizes um, in your brand um, settings. And so these are just the auto, uh, the settings that I have default for our church. Um, but so you could come in and do, um, where I'll just do mine, Wiley United Methodist Church, 3430 Antley Road. And so, um, yeah, you just, once again, make it look where it seems to fit well. Um, this is just, like I said, I'm spitballing this as I go. Um, most of the time, you have a generalized idea of what you want in your bulletin before you do it. And it's a little more of a thought out process than this one. Um, but this is just showing you the ease um, of being able to do a bulletin on here. Um, and so you can also drag your text when it's not quite the size you want it. So it'll fill the spot you need. And then you can also fine adjust um, your location. It'll move a pixel down if you use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Um, if you do shift and pixel, it'll jump 10 pixels, or shift up and down, left, right, it'll jump 10 pixels instead of one, uh, one pixel. And so it just depends on what you're doing. But those are both pretty useful tips. And that's, once again, the arrow keys to move up and down, shift in the arrow keys to move 10 um, pixels. And so um, we have the makings of stuff going, makings of something going. Um, Something else that's kind of important on things like this, obviously with bulletins especially, um, is you might have up here a little smaller than this. You might have the date, which is 
the date of me making this video is 10, 11, 9, 11, 2020. And so that, and then the inside's obviously gonna change a little bit. You have, um, you have a bunch of different stuff you can do. Um, obviously what we would do is something to the nature of going left aligned with this to keep it here. Don't want it this big. Let's drop it down to 12. And then you could do um, kids ministry pageant. I don't know. I'm just making these up on the spot. Thursday, October. And so you come in, if you want to keep the same design and style going, once again, you just copy, duplicate it, drag it over, and then you could come in and do this, and you could do upcoming events. And then obviously that's too big, so you want to find a size that's a little smaller. And yeah, so, I mean, a lot of it's just playing with it, coming up with ideas. Um, if you have any questions as you are building something in Canva, like I said, um, you are more than welcome to email me um, or you can find me on Facebook and you can reach out to me there and I will be happy to help you with whatever um, situ or whatever problems you that might arise. But um, you could do this and depending on the information that you need, um, you might have more like a little bio under here about what the event is. This is an event for all children ages two years old through fourth grade. Children need to be in the sanctuary no later than 1.30 p.m. on the 11th. Um, so you might have like a little bio, but then once again, uh, duplicating is your friend. You can come over here. You can take the same style, same everything. You can do um, position, oops, no, excuse me. You just need to flip it, um, do alignment. And so you can change your alignment and do something else there. And then there you have an upcoming events section, something like that. I know giving is a big deal for a lot of churches. And so to kind of steal the same idea of what we've been doing with all the gold, um, we're going to come in here and just type in gold and see what we can do and find a, something that will kind of work as a break for the page right here. Um, and I, you know, I, the thing that kind of caught my eye was this and we can make this work. So we're just going to take this, we're going to crop it into a uh, just a banner basically. So it can kind of work as a little bit of a divider between our upcoming events. But say we don't want to do this much, we want it to only be halfway across the page so we can cut like that and do that and then we can do Take this same font, duplicate it again, oops, um, and say you want to throw in giving because as much as we all don't like to talk about it, it is a big part of ministries and churches and all that stuff. And so you might throw in giving, 
put your numbers in there. Once again, you can just take one of these since you already have this font, duplicate it, bring it down. And obviously this is not gonna look the same. Let's say maybe you have this. Um, duplicate it again. And uh, let's see. Maybe finances last week. Finances for the year. And making these up on the spot. And so it just depends on how you want to do it. I would just out of preference, take that and unbold those. So last week is a little more of a pop. Um, and then for the year, uh, This church gives a lot of money. So you might have something like this. But like, once again, it's just a matter of knowing what information you need to come in and change on yours. Um, and it's just a matter of changing what you need and making it work. Um, and so some, you might want that a little bigger so it's easier to see. But it's just a matter of doing what you want on your video. Um, and this video is already kind of running long just because uh, we are doing a lot of design in it. But it's just coming up with the design on your own um, and just showing what you need to do. You can, if you want to do a, obviously a two-sided bulletin, um, you could easily just duplicate this page and it gives you a starting block to go um, towards your next one and you just start designing more. Um, for the sake of time, I'm not going to design the inside, but I did want to uh, show you um, our church's um, bulletin and then a bulletin that I use for our youth service um, just as an ending for this. And I created both of them um, completely from scratch on Canva, um, and they are what we use for our church and our ministry. So with that being said, let's go back real quick and... Let's make this snappy so we can hopefully not make this video too terribly long. Um, so as far as the team, um, this is our church bulletin. Um, so our church bulletin is fairly straightforward. And I don't do this bulletin on a week to week basis. I designed the template um, and then um, now our secretary handles the Canva um, documents and this was very, very um, simplistic, very, very easy design um, and honestly, I need to go back and make a few changes to it. But um, we did this when we transitioned from a eight and a half by 14 inch brown paper trifold that was all black and white print. Um, and our push was to make it an eight and a half by 11 sheet that would be cheaper and we wouldn't have to pay for a specific paper just to do our bulletins. Um, and then the other one that we do, um, 
like I said, for our youth program is this one right here. And this one is, like I said, our youth um, bulletin. We just kind of keep this updated for our youth. Um, it's pretty simplistic. It has opportunity for notes. Um, this is just a giant frame. Oops, uh, wrong button. Um, this is just a giant frame. So if I go in and I take off the stuff like this, I just basically came in and I took a bunch of white squares and made that design because all that is is it's just one giant picture that takes up the whole background of both sides. And then I just came back in with the white or the square tool made on white. Oops. Um, and it was as easy as that. I mean, just come in and kind of make it the, make the design cool. Um, and then same thing on the inside. This is just a big old picture, um, which needs to be updated now because we've done um, a different picture. But uh, we have inside dates, just what's coming up. Uh, we have our schedule, we have social media. And then I just randomly change this on occasion. And um, we do different things as far as um, like hi, give a leader a high five or um, tell you, your friend that you're thinking about them kind of thing like that. Just something to kind of keep them engaged and active and paying attention to the bulletins. But um, super, super easy. And so um, for the sake of time, since this one's already close to 25, 26 minutes, um, we're only going to do one design at a time. And that will ultimately just make, hopefully, it a little bit easier to follow along and do different things. And so um, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video because I don't want to rush it and don't want to make it too long um, at the same time. And so that, in a nutshell, is how you make a bulletin. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, you can contact me on facebook.com slash heybrentaiken. Um, it'll be in the, uh, it'll be at the bottom of the screen. And then it's um, basically just kind of trial and error. You play until you figure out what you like um, and you go from there and um, you can make some really, really cool stuff in Canva with just a matter of playing around and figuring out stuff. But it, there's no harm in finding inspiration online as long as you don't steal their stuff verbatim. Um, so with that being said, um, hope this served y'all well um, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye.